Welcome to the Word of Hope. I'm Father Luke, uh, and this is the fourth Sunday of Lent. And I know I'm not in my usual environment, but I thought I'd invite you guys, those who don't live in Colorado, to St. Dominic Parish, a long-standing uh, stalwart of the ministries of the province for a very long time. We're celebrating over 135 years, and it's a good day to welcome you. Some of you had joined us already for the uh, retreat at home over the past several weeks for these Sundays, and uh, many of you uh, may have not. I was the one that preached at the Word of Hope this last week and figured I'd give you a little introduction uh, today about what I talked about, but know that you can go back and on the Provincial's uh, YouTube channel, you're welcome to watch all the past retreat at homes. Uh, we invite you to do so. This weekend we call Laetare Sunday, the Sunday of praise. It's a moment where we get to stop in the midst of all of our Lenten work, whether it is prayer, fasting, almsgiving, not that we stop it, but we are allowed to pause and recognize that we know what's coming. We know where we're headed. And the resurrection, that Easter is still in our mind. We know the end of the story. And this weekend's readings, some of you might get cycle A, if you have those who are preparing for the sacraments in your parish. Some of you guys get Michael, cycle B. And either way, we're inundated with stories. We get the man born blind, the story of a man who wasn't able to see ever and this encounter with Christ and how slowly he found himself saying yes and his allegiance was drawn toward him. We have the story of the Israelites at the very end of their book of their chronicles, their history, their freedom from slavery and exile in the land of Babylon. We have David's anointing as king, probably the seminal highlight of his life. We have the story then too of Jesus, that famous Verse from St. John, God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Here, Jesus is telling us the story from his perspective. This is his story. This is Jesus' story. He is that son that the Lord has given that all might have life and believe. What's your story? We all have stories of our encounter with Jesus. And some of us might spend this time in Lent reliving our stories, renewing our stories, praising the stories because we know the end of it. We have found our relationship with God. Some of you might be just in the middle of your story. The story of what is my faith about? Where am I headed? But what we get to do this Laetare Sunday is we get to praise our stories, wherever in the plot we might be. Because Jesus' story, though it might have a cross in it, ends with resurrection. And though our Lent, for some of us, might seem heavy, the Lent of our lives, that is what's promised. To a man born blind who never thought he can see, came light and sight. And we are promised this and are told, because I have so loved you, I have given you my only son so that you might live. So what is your story? And today, let us praise it. And let us praise God for the work and the part and how he has come and encountered us, shaping the narrative. Because in the end, we are promised life. Have a great Sunday.